Hi there, welcome to Crafty Peep. Yay, there's some peeps in here already. Hi, Karen Lynn. Hi, Potter Lynn. Wonderful cup, wonderful coffee when you're on. It's my favorite time of day. Aw, glad you're here. Guess what day it is? It's hump day. I told uh, Abby and Bob that I do that every Wednesday and they were a little uh, scared for y'all. I said, no, they like it. They laugh. And Abby said, not with you at you. <laughs> day. Thank you, Potter Lynn. We, I just got that uh, yesterday. I just got back from um, having lunch with two dear friends that I haven't uh, seen. My, We've been friends since the girls were in kindergarten, and our girls are 22 and 23. And um, Suzanne had back surgery, and so today was her first day to be out and about. And so we had... A quick lunch, a Mexican lunch. I didn't have a margarita because I wanted to be fully uh, here for you all and not sleepy. No, if you, I say it when you. <laughs> Thank you, Potter. Yellow is beautiful on you. Thank you, Carolyn. So I made this while um, I was sitting here at my board meeting yesterday, and it was. Um, it's a group of Catholics for the Catholic retreat center that we're on the board for. And the guy that works up at the archdiocese office says, Tammy, did you just make a chalice? I said, it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? So I got the bottom at a uh, dirt cheap and it was like a broken off uh, part of a vase. And then that at Dollar Tree and that was light pink. And that was a purpley from the Dollar Tree candle section. So I E6000 and did, um, I just did a second coat of the chalk paint. And then when it's all done, I'll, I'll do a dry, barely dip my brush into the Waverly wax and uh, go over it. So it'll be like farmhouse, but all those little um, dots will come out and all those little um, things will really pop. I'll show you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it the three of us? Oh, there's four. Um, let me know when you get your notification so I know when it goes out. Uh, and I've got a box to open. I figure this is um, one of those de-stashing boxes, but I'm not real sure. The vessel with the pestle has the brew, which is true. The chalice with the palace has the no notification yet. Potter, where do you find all this stuff? Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to these. I got these at Marshall's. Um, they're little ear, ear pods. You know, the apples are like $150. And these, yes, that's the last one. I just like putting one in. So when I was editing and you just click it once and it starts your free music on Spotify. I, I use Spotify. So when I was editing my picture yesterday, you listen to whatever music you want to. And they were 20 bucks. Okay. Hi, Evie. Ah. Hi there, Lavender Flower. Hello. Good. She got a notification um, and it's 303. Well, that's good to know. Yep, I got this from a distash D stashing group, and I'm gonna tell you all about another one I just found today. And ordered some um, a few things. This is I think has some stuff for next Christmas. I'm almost positive. Yes, it does. Look at little combi. Um. Some miniatures that I didn't have. 
little kids having a snowball fight. I do have hi, that. Hi. hi, Carolyn. Hi, Potter. Hi, Tammy. Hey. Some trees, some carolers, some white trees. And let's see what this is. There where I got it. It's in four little things. Oh, yeah. It's a whole Christmas village. I think I got one of these to see if the church would fit out in my fairy garden. Oh, there's an LED little light. Cute. Hi, little girl. Hi there. Yep, there's the church. Um, I'll try to put it out there and see what it looks like. Every village needs a church. Yep. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Oh, that's cute, a general store. I ran out of time having lunch and catching up to um, go down to Walmart to buy two bins. I'm going to sell most of the Easter stuff. Um, I'm going to try to take pictures when I get off. Oh, that's cute. Antique Real shop. Cute. Antique shop. Do not use battery operated LED tea lights. Ah, I have some of those. So. so now I have a whole thing of Christmas that I will need. Oh, I think I do have a Christmas bin that I can get to back there to add to before the hub gets back and off. He's about to have a coronary when I take down this Easter and have an extra box. But there's some things that I'm not going to sell that I I liked what I've done. So my sister said, but you can recreate it next year. Nope, I'm going to keep it. All right. There is that. How'd the photo shoot go? It went wonderful. I'm going to show you a few pictures. I don't know if it'll uh, show up or not. Um, we did uh, Gia's three-month-old granddaughter first with her mom and dad. And then about a half hour later, we did the um, little nephews. So cute. And last night, I didn't even get to – I didn't even get through 100 uh, pictures. I added – Here's the little thing that I'm adding to the coffee and taking the one. I think it says something like, you don't know how strong you are. Something like, we're like tea. You don't know how strong you are until you have to be or something like that. But the, I didn't notice that. I thought it said first coffee, but it says step one coffee and then step two change the world. So I added that when we got off last night and added a, a clear thing of Mod Podge. Hi, my love. crazy life. Hi, my crazy life. So we we uh, painted that yesterday during the board meeting, and we will add some dry brushing to that tomorrow when it dries. We just opened that. We have that to go outside. I still have not found little um, pizza tables, but she gave me plenty, so it, I might just paint a couple now uh, I have another box uh, or another jar of cashews, and so I'm going to show you how easy that is to uh, you can put your beads in there. Or um, now I have I'll have two to send out to the garage for my husband's. He had lots of stuff in just Ziploc gallon bags, so I'll be able to uh, print 
off screws or nails or whatever he wants to put in this. I don't think I ran it through the dishwasher last time. I soaked it in warm water. Maybe if you heat it up a little bit with your heat gun. I think it will it will just dent and kind of melt the sides. Yeah, I might make it gooey too. So I think you have to peel off this first. You have to peel off this first uh, label and then goo go on the paper that's left. There we go. Don't you hate that when you buy things to craft mm -hmm. and they have the sticker so stuck? You're like, why do you do yeah. that? The only thing I can think of is it's maybe last year's product that the sticker is so stuck on there. I don't know. It, it's aggravating. Oh, Miss um, Roger Rabbit said that, um, I don't know if it's online too, but Hobby Lobby has their canvases uh, on a good sale. Oh. my little cricket spatula oh yeah now it's coming right off on the black friday sale she says yes go online and order it on a Black Friday sale? Is that what that means? I don't know. Potter just put that up. Oh. Well. And I'll tell you all uh, another de-stashing uh, website this lady said, and if you're looking for Jenga blocks, I said, I am. So this lady and her husband run a uh, kind of a de-stashing de with um, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and something else. So I got Jenga blocks. Be right back. Okay. I got some Jenga blocks and some Buffalo um, fabric, and I think I got the combi fabric for Karen Lynn. I think uh, it just showed a little side view, so I think that's what I got. But it's a dollar fifty. You can go on there. I'm going to give you her website, and then um, instead of a dollar, it's a dollar fifty. And then you use PayPal for uh, PayPal to pay for it and shipping. And the shipping isn't very much at all. And it's coming from Maine. I think that's where she is. You can put your beads in your. Let me down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, these big cashew uh, bins that they work great for your um, beads or little whatnots in your craft room. It looks like it was going to rain. At around 12, it got all dark again, and my husband was heading out the door to go golfing, and it perked right back up, so it's kind of overcast like it was uh, yesterday, but not quite as windy. But Gia's little grandsons were like little models, smiling on cue. It was adorable. So I hope to get through those today, but it might take me a couple days because a little bit, little uh, Nicoletta, she's only three months old, so she wasn't a happy camper. But I got some good smiling pictures when her mama was Tammy? In. Yes. Yes. I'm going to have to jump off for a minute, okay, if Potter didn't okay. come up. That's okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay.
Oh, I hate good gone. Uh, Potter, can you come up or Karen Lynn be my Vanna's? I put the link as soon as I get this goo gone off my hand and off my desk. Uh, remember to set your uh, phone to Friday at 8.30 and try to come up on panel. You don't have to. You can just uh, put your phone or your computer down to your work area um, so you don't have to show your face at all. But then we can hear your voice and everybody in chat can hear your voice. All right. I like having both of you up on panel at the same time. Uh, full year. Uh, let me finish wiping this down. I'll, I'll soak it in Dove again and kind of use this. You can still see a little. There he goes. A little of the residue. Whoops. Hi, Potter Lynn. Hello. Hello. Are you feeling better today? Um, not really. Dang it. I know it's annoying. It's head stuff. I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I wish they'd give you that opportunity to go in when you're feeling that way so that EEG would show it. Yeah. Well, it's only it's only one week, so maybe I will still be feeling that way. I don't know. And, and my there. car should be fixed by Friday, but I then yeah. think, okay, that means Monday. So. <laughs> <laughs> I keep calling it goo off, but it's not, is it? It's goo uh, gone. Goo gone. I think there is some goo, goo off, it's called, right? Goo off? Uh, I think. So, I don't know. <laughs> I think. But boy, is it oily. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll probably still get in hot dove to get the all the sticky eat stuff off and then um, do a big uh, label and put uh, packing tape around it so we can get the nails and the screws or whatever out of Ziploc bags and you know how if you if, if it's out in the garage for any length of time I guess just the you can barely see through the Ziploc bag it gets all uh, not see-through anymore that makes sense. Okay. White Tiger is just having a little Hello. sneaky peek while she's at work. Hello. We're not going to tell the boss. Are you at home, White Tiger, or did you have to? You have to go into the office. I don't know if you're every other week or how that works. And Gigi Jardine's getting a call, so everyone's getting a call. Hi, Gigi. All right. Let me give you that lady's name, too, if you want to go check out her D stash. She had lots of ribbon, lots of, uh, of the fat quarters. So maybe uh, Karen Lynn wants to. Oh, Karen Lynn's in the back too. Hi, Karen Lynn. Hello, hello. 
Hi, honey. How are you? Hi there. Sorry I didn't see you in the back. Can you hear us? Can you hear? I, I, yep. I'm breaking up a little bit. Let me. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Potter's oh, uh, on here. Oops. Oh, hi, Potter Lynn. <laughs> Hello, Carolyn. Oh, my gosh. I, got this <laughs> I, all over my face. I love her so much. <laughs> uh, You're just adorable. Let me. Let me get to, oh, did you see that white tiger came in? Yeah. I'm sure Potter already caught that. Be careful, more careful than I've been. It just, I got the gooey, slimy stuff all over. Yuck. And it Hello, what big eyes? Smells so chemically. Hi, what big eyes? Did the ducks hatch? Geese, geese wings, right? Or ducks? Is that what you called a school of ducks? Geese wings? No, they're ducklings. Ducklings. But geese are that, goslings. Oh, well, those haven't. I think the duck, the chicks, right? The chicks hatch today and the ducks are going to hatch oh not yet and today was day 28 oh, Lord. are you talking about white big what big eyes yes i know white big guys yes yeah she's got some yeah. ducklings that are gonna oh gosh i can't wait to see Okay, so what are you making now, Tammy? Um, a little welcome sign for the front porch. Oh, cute. Oh, I'm going to tell you a de-stasher thing that you might be interested in, too. Uh, Where did you get that iPhone? Where'd you get that iPhone holder? Um, Amazon. But if I had to do it all over again, yeah. I'd get one. It goes down. <laughs> But I get one that goes way higher than this one. One that goes what, honey? Higher. There's one oh, that I see. Yep, goes yep. way higher than this. I see. There she is. Look oh. at her. I said oh. a little lady clutching her pearls. So that's <laughs> Nicoletta. And I haven't... Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. That's the setup I had in the backyard, the lemonade with all the pillows I made and stuff. So I'll show you in a you few days so when creative. I get them done. Then here's my me and my friends today at lunch. Oh, she's perfect. So she is and I got to hold her after the photo shoot, and she went to bed in my arms, and they say that is not – she doesn't let everybody hold her. So I'm like, yay. <laughs> uh, you know, oh, I have to really, when my son's not at work, I have to have him help me get on his computer because I think it would be so much easier for me to be on here when I, I don't think I. Well, we that's, <laughs> I don't think I. Cut off. Oh, she just had a cut off. <laughs> Can't imagine they, what she's um, going to say next. Light lemonade in a pitcher and filled up the little yellow buffalo check uh, mason jars that I got at um, um, Hobby Lobby. And Gia's little grandsons were drinking and drinking. I filled them up. I'm like, Beep. grandsons? Isn't Nicoletta a girl? Nicoletta is her only granddaughter, and then her grandsons are four and going to be seven. Oh, and they right. are so cute, um, but I didn't even take a picture of them, so you have to wait until I edit my pictures. Um, oh, gosh. Bob, you know, we had that winter storm, so we lost a lot of, we lost a lot of 
Can you hear us, Karen Lynn? Oh, she came and she went. I I was backing up today to go to lunch, and that little pink sticky note says thanks. Bob wrote thanks on a sticky note and put it on the trash because he was leaving all that. Um, he wrapped all that branches and stuff out there, and Saturday is our big uh, garbage day. I thought that was so cute. Thank you. <laughs> But how could they see it if it's not facing the road? It is facing the road. Oh, is it? So oh, thank okay. you, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're already supposed to do heavy pickup on Saturday, so it, did it get picked up? I think it did. Yay! They'd like to thank you note. It got picked up. <laughs> you know, at Christmas time we used to leave the garbos, that's what they're called here, garbos, <laughs> Um, a whole slab of beer, but you just can't do that now. It would be stolen. Yeah. In the of the night. <laughs> I think I got this from a de-stasher um, from Dollar Tree, so I'm just um, picking off. Oh, I thought you bought it from. Tell me. Where did I get it? You'll oh, know. Yeah, I thought, I thought you bought it from Dollar Tree. Oh. I don't think so. Um, this might be a hobby art skills Pinterest. Is that a is that a Hobby Lobby sign, y'all? Don't know. I have so to maybe look I it got up. it. Maybe I got it at Hobby uh, Lobby, but I, it's metal, so I'm gonna uh, modge podge the Mackenzie Child uh, paper on it, and then nothing. I'm gonna put this on there. But then I'll get some uh, magnets to. Oh, we don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to start off by penciling off the paper with a pencil. She says, Carolyn says, I'm sorry, friends, I lost you. This internet connection here at the house is just awful. You need to get yourself a little computer. That's what you need. I can't yeah. believe all you people are doing things on your phone. How can you even stand it? If I had to do things on my phone, it would drive me insane because <laughs> it's so small and you can't well, have like I have bigger. I have the 11 plus, so it is. Even um, then, I, <laughs> I have all these tabs open. I've got other programs open. Yes, you I have to do that. Um, <laughs> I just drew around. Do around the scrap paper, and then we'll cut that out and Mod Podge it on there. Uh, Carolyn says, I always use our my Verizon data because our internet is so unreliable. Yeah, I see um, Aaron doing that up in Washington from uh, Lizzie and Aaron. Oh, I didn't give you that de-stasher's name yet. That's what I went on my phone to do. I've got the other de-stashing group. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I posted that before, but there's another one now. Yeah, I was on that one earlier, and somebody said, if you're looking for Jingle Blocks, Emily can probably help you out. And I'm like, yes, please. And so I contacted her, and she gave me, I think on the web, it's called Comment Sold. Dot com comment sold because usually when if it's a de-stasher selling stuff on Facebook you put so uh, if she says I have eight of these and somebody's claimed uh, four of them and somebody's claimed two of them there's two left so you put you want sold one or sold two your zip code and then your email address and then they they send you a bill through um, PayPal I believe um okay i think on fa facebook it's emily's with the apostrophe emily's dollar spot let me see emily's dollar spot if that doesn't work let me know Update your is she in mine uh-huh how'd you know that you found it because, well, she's got a whole website. Facebook, Emily's Dollar Spot. So it's Emily and then an S instead of the possibly Emily's Dollar Spot. 
So I bought some Jenga blocks, the Jenga towers that are um, 72 are in there. Oh, and um, I don't know if you all follow her. Um, that's Barb from the Shabby Tree. Um, but one of those, oh gosh, you can either put it as a backsplash or a, a tin. Uh, you know, in the old days, they used to put them on the ceiling. And so they have them at Home Depot and Lowe's. Press and Huh? Press tin. Press tin. And they come in, I'm going to get it in gold, but she took took it and you put a piece of wood underneath you and drilled those holes right there, right around that design and in the middle. And then she put one of those automatic candles and put it outside on her patio. Isn't that pretty? So yeah. I'm going to, we might do that together. So if you want to do that with me, pick up um, the tin. I think it's $20, but you get. I think you get three crafts out of it. So, all right, we're gonna so, modify this. Go ahead. I'm just saying that I put up the Facebook, but then I put up also her website. Just oh, for okay. Who don't have very Facebook. nice, and she she had um, oh gosh, she had some buffalo check ribbon, and you know how I love that, so I bought orange for next fall and to do carrots with and buffalo check fat fat squares um and then she's got other things that are fat like quarters. i'm sorry fat quarters from the dollar tree <laughs> or as you said fat quarter pounders <laughs> <laughs> sorry go on i didn't mean to interrupt <laughs> I've seen some people just use a glue stick too, but I wouldn't think out in the Texas heat that a uh, glue stick glue to metal would uh, last not at all. Mm, especially when they're smooth surfaces. Yes. So I was supposed to... Um, work today sub today but um over the weekend i thought oh i'm supposed to show my craft room and it'll be the day after i do my photo shoot so i'll have lots of pictures to edit so i just let myself off the hook and then let myself off the hook with y'all saying nope not gonna do the thing because i don't want to rush it and i'm getting around to doing all the labeling so um I'll probably do it this weekend and then um, upload it when I have to work next week. It's all uh, good. <laughs> really, really, honestly. Tobert hasn't even been in here in a couple days, has he? Or has she? she? she. Oh, I think she was in, wasn't she in the, she just came in yesterday for a second or two. All right. She inspired me to get my button gear a couple months ago to do it. Um, <laughs> when it's ready, it'll be ready and we can wait. Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> but then I think, oh gosh, they waited this long and then it's going to be wah, wah. <laughs> it's not all that, not all that great, but uh, it feels good to be or get me organized. Yeah, of course. Um, if you go to Marshall's, I don't know if Karen Lynn went there today, but they have the bigger, um, no, Karen Lynn is not going anywhere, just so you know. She's not. <laughs> She's grounded. <laughs> I'm I'm grounding her because okay. there's an upswing in COVID there okay. and she's also got a stuffy nose, so I just don't want her going out for the moment. Okay. Anyway, you go on. <laughs> uh, they have rolling pins, really cute rolling pins. Uh, and some people, when they modge podge, they use a rolling pin to get all the air bubbles out. Oh, yeah. Cool. 
Oh, I can't. I can't find it. I'll have to look another day. It's too hard. What are you trying to find? I was trying to find where the metal thing was from. Uh, I'll, I'll find I it. You know what? That's what? I think art skill is Walmart. I'm almost I just, positive. I think you you got it while you were on camera. I remember you holding it up. But I might be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I've dreamt it. I trust myself. It's not from the Dollar Tree. They wouldn't have had this biggest sign from the Dollar Tree. But I think I got it at Walmart. And I think I was on. Wasn't I on camera at Walmart with y'all? I, I, I cannot was. remember. That's how terrible my brain is. Well, my brain isn't terrible and I can't remember. <laughs> Um, yes, Carolyn is reminding us about Smoothie King. Okay, thank you. I put it, remember to put it in my description today. Oh, and Soul Sister is here and she says, I have the copper colour metal backsplash. Is that? Oh, I love special? the copper. Uh, I might do, I might buy, the, it's probably copper, not gold. Yeah, it's pretty. So you, I think you cut it in three strips or four strips. Maybe you get four four uh, lanterns, but she didn't. She was doing different things, and I didn't watch how she what she did with the other. Um, I want to make thank Smoothie King for sponsoring Crafty Peep. If you subscribe to Crafty Peep on YouTube, and then if you go to FM twenty ninety four in Marina Bay Drive. And mention Crafty Peep, you will get a dollar off of this, and the it will be under five dollars. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go get one tomorrow because it sounds so good. I'm drinking lemonade, crystal light lemonade from my shoot last night. I could have just thrown it down the sink, but no, I don't like to waste things, so it is very good. I'm just cutting off the overage you can take a little sanding block when it dries and do the same thing but all right then if you have a hole puncher and let me see maybe i don't need that yeah this already has a uh, hanger on it so we don't need to punch holes in it and got that for a dollar from dollar Ge uh, dollar general i was heading there and gonna head to walmart to get two bins and got talking to the roommate or the roommate my <laughs> friends, my friends about our daughters and their roommates and Two thirty. I'm like, no, nah, I gotta go straight home. So, on my agenda for tomorrow, I'm just gonna hot glue this. Oops, excuse me. I have a little overage of the hot glue, so you just bring that little, uh, it's a facial thing that you get at Dollar Tree. Yep. Look at that. And I'll either put it inside um, a wreath, a spring wreath that I'll make, or I have a, oh gosh, it's a very heavy wooden thing that I have uh, on my brick. It used to be mi a mirror, I think, um, those heavy mirrors that matched the, your bedroom suit that matched your, you know, bedroom side table. And I bought it from my neighbor. She was redoing furniture. So she chalk paint it black. 
and then what was in there? I I chalk painted black and would write messages and still did. Oh, she chalk paint over uh, uh, the mirror. And so it was so heavy. Well, the mirror cracked and we just took the pieces out and I chalk paint the um, uh, blackboard chalk paint the uh, heavy cardboard in back of there. And so it still says the same message, blessings for all who enter. And then I have a little push pin. So that's probably where that is going to go. Right now, my pink uh, wreath that we made with the little chickadees um, are, is hanging out there. Hmm. All right, what time is it? Hi, Jelly Bean. That is very charming. Love your crafts. Thank you so much. I go to I go to see your um, really kind comments, Jelly Bean Nurse, because you are the one that usually watches them after my lives afterwards. And you comment, and I can see two things, and then I click on it to see the rest of the comment. And it says comment can't be shown or something. I don't know. It's probably a YouTube thing or a, a user error. <laughs> but there's that. And um, there was some, oh, we will dry chalk that because that is dry. I clean my brushes. You can just take any old brush you have, tip it into your Waverly antique. Brush it off so it's it's virtually a dry brush that's why they call it a dry brush because you're just going to go over all the detail see how it brings it out and then it kind of the opposite way to how you did the urns <laughs> we had a darker background and used yeah, the white dry that's brush exactly right um, Jelly Bean Nurse says her patients today voted tangerine the flavor of the day. Ah, I just bought some more uh, tangerine. So when after the photo shoot, um, my husband had a frozen eggplant parmesan because uh, I I like to get to editing uh, asap. So I knew I wasn't going to make a meal last night. So I just got a salad and I put. Uh, tangerines in it, uh, big Texas size. And when it d is not, not coming off, you just dip a little bit more and then, um, and that went on to the first stroke went on too heavy. So you're just going to take the paper towel and wipe it off. The effect is everywhere. So I had big Texas size strawberries, um, Tanger, a tangerine, croutons, and balsamic vinegar. Oh, it was so good. I wanted a hard boiled egg, but didn't want to wait three minutes while it boiled. So. Then my back got to hurting from sitting here, so I had to stop and go take an Epsom salt bath and then get my leg cuffed for two hours. So as, when I, as soon as I get off of here, I will be editing pictures. What are you going to do with the, with the chalice? Uh, it's a, uh, I'm going to put one of those, uh, battery operated tea lights in it. Oh, all right. Yeah, because I th well, <clears throat> I'll try it tonight. I I mean, it, this part is a candle holder that I glued on right. to a broken oh. candle holder. From, uh, all the, right. Uh, I thought you'd bought the whole thing. I thought no, it was no, part no. of the supply. <laughs> I, uh, I like the pink color, but yes. that was a broken candle holder from Dirt Cheap that I got for dirt cheek and then this was a dollar and it was purpley um so yep. I painted the inside too. I see. So see how it kind of makes it look farmhousey and then yeah. 
I just saw a spot that you did. I did too heavy. So if if you don't get to the spot where you did too heavy, you just come with another dry brush with the Waverly wax. I'll show you how to do it. And do the same technique over it. It's 45 minutes now. All right. I'm sorry if I'm lackluster. Um, Gia's husband, we were in the board meeting and we were signing off and he was like, yeah, I go by my uh, wife. I guess I think she listens to me on her iPad and Tammy's talking. And then an hour later, I go by and she's still talking. I'm saying, what could Tammy be talking about for over an hour? <laughs> Oh, well, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> I didn't even correct him. I thought, Ugh. up until recently, it was an hour and a half I was talking. <laughs> All right. Much better. So it just gives it that little splash of that antique look. Very nice. All right. I did some, oh, I used um, those round labels right when I got off um, from the Dollar Tree. And I put wooden circles and Velcro. And uh, that was that banner that I got at um, Target that had all those wooden pieces plus uh, um, the pegs. What, how was that attached, that one? Um, how did I do? Oh. With a little piece of uh, Velcro, I just did a little. All right, great. Of Velcro. It looks tied on with a little bow, so it's like your yeah, other one. I just did a double knot right there. So and cute. Have more ribbon. <laughs> so aren't they sweet? The little little polka dots. Well, they're big polka dots. Paint and glue. So I have the Elmer's glue and more paint, and then I have. Another paint up there with the, uh, the target ones with the target yeah. ones. Yeah. So I'm oh, hello. Glenn. 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 Hello, Glenn. We haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, hi there. <sighs> okay. And a piece this long, you're going to use it for something else. So I have a hey there um, basket. About, has all the little miscellaneous things. This is so daggy, but I mean, it was like, you know, I was like in my late 20s or something, but I found these old tins and I, um, I painted one that said bibs and then I had one that said and and another one that said bobs and my mum loved it. She just loved That's it cute. for years. <laughs> and I, I've got them back now somewhere but I don't know where they are. It's so funny because it was just such a spare of the moment thing I just did but she was just, all, they were like her pride and joy even though I was always making yeah. her stuff. She just loved them because she had lots of those things, you know, from my mum was very crafty. You would have loved her. She could do Aww. anything and everything. She was so talented. And so she just, you know, she, like you, had all these things that she would, you know, people would say, oh, I've got this problem, and she would just go and find something and fix it. And if anything, you know, you got a stain on anything, she would know exactly what to do. She was just oh, brilliant. Yeah. She was very good at textile-type things, so... Did you put that um, dresser that you made all the different things uh, 
twist on uh, Craft Lynch. Which dresser? It was a white. No, it wouldn't have been me. Yeah, it was you. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a dresser. Maybe it was like an entertainment center or a girl's white. And you kind of broke it down and then you made uh, artwork and stuff. Or was that? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yes, that's right. I just, I made some brooches from some old Cindy furniture that was broken. Cool. Is that what you mean? They were like yeah. clouds. Is it in Craft Lynch? I think it is in there. And I just, you know, and someone said, how did you make that? And then I just found a picture of the thing that I'd used. Oh, okay. And it's a pity because, you know, in those days you just took the minimum photograph. So I couldn't show you, you know, I didn't have a photo of the back and how I made the back because the pin was all handmade. But I had to have, make sure I had corner pieces so that I could use that um, and drill two holes in to run a pin through. Oh, okay. So nothing was stuck to it. It was all because that this is when I was doing, you know, studying jewellery and you weren't allowed to use chemical adhesions for anything. So I had to very carefully find and design the sizes to fit for my returns. Oh, wow. So it was all kind of carved, really. Um, I, and I really wish I would buy some more. I mean, not buy some more, do some more because I have lots of other old bits of stuff that are all broken but i just haven't done it yes we're gonna have a um in sometime in may we're gonna have a uh crafter come over and sit in my spot and then i'll sit over uh there and uh she is going to do a easy mosaic uh wait let me see what I can oh get this is the lady that goes all over the world yes uh let me see if i can find her The YouTube channel. Let me find it. Oh nope, that's my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mosaic Madness Designs by Duryea, and it's D U R Y E A. But look at that dragonfly with all those colors going through there. www.mosaicmadnessdesignsbyduryea.com. So she said um, she loves my channel. She became a sub yesterday. You have found your calling. It's so informative and fun to watch. I'm like, thank you. That is. She said, I'd love to do a project. I'll think of something easy to demonstrate. It will have to be in May. We can talk in the meantime and you can give me directions. So, yay. Then while I was um, also on the board meeting, I cut the real thin popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree to make lollipops, or I think I'm going to make flowers out of all those little gift bag handles that I twisted and glued together. So we have yellow, blue, purple, hot pink, and green. And I then, can't find it. I can't find it. There's mosaic, mosaic designs by Linda. Let me see. Mosaic Madness ah. Designs with an S, Designs by Duryea, D-U-R-Y-E-A.com. So we'll probably do that next week too. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to draw petals around it or leave it like that. I think if I left it like that, that might look like lollipops. I'm not sure. So that's a little craft we have for next week that I'll be putting over here in a little thing. Then we have this little bicycle. I think I picked him up at um, uh, Hobby Lobby. And it just comes uh, natural world, world wood or naked mm -hmm. wood is like I like to say. And then painted him our favorite color. But I have a bigger one coming from a de-stasher that says welcome spring. And so I'm going to hold off doing something with that until I get that piece to see if they can go together. 
then I found this in my scrapbooking stuff up in that very top shelf. I have that green green bin that I got 50% off because the little corner was broke. So um, I have that company called Gratitude by T. And gratitude is a noun. Um, warm feeling of thankfulness. Appreciation of blessings received. Warm feeling of thankfulness. I love that. And um I don't think Heather's on here today, but um, what was she saying last night? I think somebody was paying her a compliment. Oh, yes. Her ex's, her ex-husband's new wife was paying her a compliment. And I said, oh, my gosh, you were receiving it. She goes, I did. I received it. <laughs> and then, uh, hi there. If you just came on. I had to add that step two because I thought this said first coffee. But after I, I got off, I saw that, that it said step two, change the world. So I Mod Podge did on and then did a clear Mod Podge over it. And it makes that it look that. very Barbara Krugerish. It does with the words down Ooh. there. So I thought <laughs> she is just too cute to be hanging by my little coffee pot. Okay, let's get to the words. Today's letter, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boy, is A. And this will be our fourth time around the world, right, uh, Potterlin? Uh, mm. so. One, two, three. Yes. One, yes. Fourth time around in the alphabet. Because I have, um, some of them I have three. Well, where is it? Okay. Oh, and I have a bonus word. Okay. The past words are, were attitude, awesome, authentic, appreciate, abundance, amaze, and affirmation. Today's words, accomplishment, amazing and achieve so let's go over those words um accomplishment you know how good you feel when you accomplish something whether it's a load of clothes that you put in the washer then you take and put in the dryer then you remember to go take them out of the dryer when they're warm fold them and go put them where they belong that is an accomplishment and you feel like some days when i sleep in I feel actually better when I wake up at a decent time and I go run my errands, come home, maybe mop the floor, whatever. You feel so much personal accomplishment. So whatever that word means to you. Um, amazing. Whether you're feeling, not feeling amazing, but you can still fake feeling amazing and then tell your body Stop it. I am feeling amazing today. I'm going to have an amazing day, whether I have a sore throat, whether I have a whatever, whether I have um, the devil coming to me. No, not today, devil. Not today, Satan. I think that's going to be another. Uh, I saw it on somebody's shirt the other day, and I love it. Not today, Satan. Not today. Um, achieve. Set little goals, goals for yourself. And well, this um, um, getting my craft room reorganized for the thousandth time is going to be my achievement, um, hopefully coming to fruition this weekend. So set little um, goals for yourself, whether it be I'm going to clear out my junk drawer in my kitchen today. And then if you're a list person, check. Check, 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 check off the list. It makes you feel good. Then our bonus words, ladies and gentlemen, is atonement. And um, either either the Jewish Jewish community or the Christian community, um, I think atonement for them starts um, during Hanukkah. And in in um, the twelve step program too, people contact the people that they have wronged. But with the Jewish community, I have a friend that is Jewish. She has uh, told me that they contact people that they have wronged. And in 
the Christian community uh, during Lent for us. Um, we atone for our sins and uh, right our wrongs and or reach out to somebody that you've been PO'd with because um, life is too short and say, can we, you know, can we make this right? Or if it's a relationship that, um, what did I see the other day? Like relationships, um, some people come into your your life for a season and go off, go out in the season that they are were supposed to go out. So um, that's good too. Alan on too, yeah, soul sister, amazingly. Okay, so let. Oh, it starts at Young Kemper Potter. Not wait, is Young is Young Kemper the same as uh, is is a Jewish holiday? Young Kemper. Is it before the Hanukkah? All right, all right, all right. Uh, hey, Gia, who, who, what's that guy's name? He is so good looking. Um, anyway, let's see. You're a proud member for five years. Congratulations, soul sister. I have a very good friend that goes to Al-Anon and um, her husband's passed away, but uh he used to be an alcoholic and, um, oh gosh, they were married cl maybe close to 50 years, but saved, saved her marriage and, um, was one Matthew McConaughey. Yes, yes, yes. Answered, answered prayers. Good one. What big guys? Here you go. Potter Lynn. Antonetta. Is that an actor or is that a word? And what does it mean? Can you hear me, Potter Lynn? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's really funny as I, I just was in my, I was in typing mode thinking, yeah, I, <laughs> that I wasn't answering. <laughs> I thought Antonetta was Gia's granddaughter. Isn't that uh, Nicol Nicoletta. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's just how you name. But Antonetta <laughs> is cute. I have an alcoholic <laughs> in my life. Alanon keeps my sanity and focus on myself. Very good, soul sister. Yes. Um, and I like Antonetta and if they ever shorten it to Etta, I like Etta. Where's all your A words? Australia, yes. Where our favorite little Potter Lynn lives. Yes, yeah, so I was saying Yom Kippur is just one day. It's like their day of an atonement. For the Jewish, uh, before um, Hanukkah begins, do you know? Oh, yeah, it's just on its own. Okay. I, could, I just know it's always around about the same time as the grand final in the footy here. And so all the St Kilda fans always get, dang, can't go because it's Yom Kippur. You know, they can't oh. do anything on that day. They have to be you know, thinking good thoughts and, yeah. you know, and afterwards they have a, of course, like anything Jewish, they have a giant eating celebration when it's all yes. over. I used to get her, um, oh, she made me whatever that bread is called. Um, oh, I've also had her non, leaven, what's it called? Leavened bread? Yeah, yeah matzo balls. <laughs> oh. Matzo balls soup. <laughs> my kids remember almost every meal they had over there because my son was uh, a picky eater. But when Miss Joanne was cooking, uh, we played uh, soccer from three years to uh, right before they were freshmen in high school. Uh, and they were on Kemper. They were one cul-de-sac away. So uh, and our kids were the same age. Abby must have might have been six months older than their daughter. But. They spent so much time over there, and one of their favorite meals that she cooked was the um, the rice with, I think, the cream of mushroom, and you either put drumsticks, and then it bakes in the oven or whatever, but they both remember that. But she would make me an eggplant. I have to, we're, we're going to have uh, dinner with her and her husband. Um, oh, gosh. It's this eggplant meal that is to die for, but it's a, uh, she is Indian. It's kind of got like an Indian flair to it. Abby, thank you. 
I said, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I, sitting here. I got Time the whole Nicoletta. So she was, <laughs> she was abbreviation, America architecture. Yeah, Abby was jealous that I got to, and I put Nicoletta to sleep. I loved it. Asparagus. I love asparagus. Oh, I, I got it. Um, I just had and it before. You spelled it right. Her grandma and her, both of her grandmas never got that. We spelled Abby with an E because of the Abbeys in England. Um, and both of them, God rest their soul, they're both passed on, but they, it was always A-B-B-Y. And it was even Bob's mom that was born and raised in England. Um, and she knew, she went over to England with us, and she knew Abby was um, named yeah, Abby. I will Abby. never forget it because you've told me that little story. And it's just uh -huh. like... Significant. And her, yes, next year she wants to, her picture in front of the Westminster Abbey and her life, her whole bucket list will be complete. Anniversary avocados. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping I got avocados at Target when I ran in there yesterday, maybe. And they're too uh, hard. I'm hoping they're going to be ready. And I think, yeah, Gia likes asparagus or not asparagus avocados too and she got she went to uh trader joe's yesterday and got that uh thick balsamic glaze do you have that and um so she puts avocado on her toast and the glaze and then some people put the um oh gosh what's it called everything but bagel um i don't know that. <laughs> i was gonna say ducka because i don't do you put that seasoning on your um, avocado toast, Gia? The everything but bagel seasoning? Apple. I made an apple pie, but all I had was um, phyllo dough, and it's delicious. Yummy. So I thought, well, instead of going into Walmart, I'm just going to order my two bins for my, my in, uh, Easter and my groceries and pick it up. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, it's so good. And some people put toast, avocado, a fried egg, then the balsamic glaze, then the everything but bagel. So I'm think I'm gonna have to do that because it sounds so good. Affable. Yes, I love asparagus. So I'm gonna add that to my grocery list. Oh, Auntie, very good, soul sister. Well, hello, Suzanne Huggins. I am sorry we're not having a, uh, let's see what's in my craft room today. I'm going to alligator. We've had a few in the bayou lately. I saw somebody wrap up an alligator. It was a baby alligator with uh, bacon, and they were having like, um, they were, I guess, putting it on their grill for Easter. Alaskan crack queen. Yes, she is. Um, have you made that, Glenn? I know you're in Louisiana. Did you see the quiche Sandra posted with asparagus? Yes, so sister, I'm going to make that. No, no cheese or anything. Eggs, asparagus, and sausage. And mushrooms. I was going to type it. Oh, and mushrooms. I have to get some more mushrooms. We are on a Bella, baby Bella kick lately. And I just put a little olive oil and uh, put the mushrooms in there. And then um, Mrs. Dash garlic and garlic and something. Oh, my God. So good. Yes, ma'am, he says. Oh, okay, bye, Carolyn. Hi, Snow Lion. Hi, Snow Lion. Um, oh, bye, Gigi. She said phone call. That's okay. two phone calls in one live, she said. Oh, Karen Lynn had to get off because of phone call because um, Lavender Flower. No, Gigi, had a Gigi had a, a phone call when Lavender uh, Flower, oh. and then and then she's no another one. She's just in demand. Ah, uh, uh, Suzanne Huggins, can you join our um, Discord? Thank you. Can you put the link at the Crafty P three? Yep, um, I will. I have a question to ask you. So hopefully I will be doing a, um, a video of my craft room soon. I think by this weekend, but 
Um, my mom called and her and dad took a road trip up to Brenham and we always thought we were going to uh, retire up that way. Um, we just love it. It's small town feel and it's just awesome. Well, she said, you and Bob have to drive up here. Me and dad are passing fields and fields of uh, blue bonnets. And so I asked uh, years ago, we took the kids and we stayed at this bread and breakfast, um, just adorable place. And they had the executives from that, um, oh, the salad dressing that I showed you all the other day. Do you remember, Potter? You have a good memory of. Oh, sorry. I was. That glass was bottle, um, whatever. Cream, balsamic by um, Brianna. Brianna's creamy. Brianna's executives were uh, staying at the house. And so they put us in a little cottage, I think that used to be the garage. It was so fun. So I said, hey, mom and dad are up in uh, Brenham. I think they're only probably 40 minutes away. So they just went up there for the day, probably ate lunch and coming back. And uh, he goes, well, this weekend, I'm watching the Masters all weekend. I said, okay, but how about next weekend? I said, we really haven't done anything without the kids since your retirement. So we're I'm going to get online after this and see if that bread and breakfast place is still um going and go up there for the whole day and evening and to the next day no suzanne ours is different you need to email oh because you're in white tigers is that what she said yes, oh you said white tigers. yeah you're in white tigers so uh send us an email and get into ours too because we want your oh, crafts in the pictures we yes. want pictures. <laughs> in, your, in your craft room and uh, greenhouse, yeah, we want the greenhouse. So hers is going to be so nice because she got new cap cabinetry, so you can hide all the ickiness and then open it up. Oh, it'll just be different, is all. Yes, um, Tobert is here. Yeah, she Hi, just Tobert. arrived. Okay, she said they're in major shutdown. Oh my gosh, is it because of COVID or some other oh. issue? Oh, you're doing a renovation too? Sure, I just joined last week, but it was oh, okay. I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. All right, guys, I am gonna go so I can um um do a grocery list, get find a bed and breakfast for next weekend. Um tomorrow is Thursday, so we will go live um tomorrow at three o'clock which is thursday and friday i won't be coming on at three because we will be coming on at 8 30. so suzanne gia white tiger well the white tiger will be a little bit late joining us but every single person on this uh chat we can get 10 people up on the screen at one time so you you can just point whatever if you use an iPad or whatever, you can just um, point it down to your craft and um, not show your face. So um oh my daughter just said her friends are getting going to Alabama. So when is our Galveston Beach weekend? <laughs> um oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. Um Oh, so anyway, you don't have to, like, you can be on the computer, but then have your, um, I've used, um, just your packing hands. Tape. I've used packing tape before. So the tape, so my camera is looking down at my craft when I've been on other people's craft, uh, lives before. So you can be in your PJs. And I think, um, the once a month, when we are over at White Tigers first, and then we come over here, it ours is going to be called uh, Peeps and Pajamas, or Pajamas. <laughs> so, uh, yes, Brazier, so makeup off. Oh my gosh, Tobert! I thought, well, we just our school district just came out with a. We have a brand new. Um, 
superintendent that's from the East Coast somewhere that he is rolling out a whole um, virtual learning where the whole all next year, if I guess this year, every six weeks, you could start, you know, uh, the teachers knew, OK, they were getting three more kids. And then then you had to wait six more weeks if the parents felt comfortable to send their kids and stuff. So next year you can go totally um, virtual if you want to. And I thought, oh my gosh, I thought it was kind of going to, everybody was going to be vaccinated. It was kind of going to be life as normal, but it's not. Well, the, the main problem, Tammy, is that, for instance, if you, if the Brazilian um, um, strain gets to you, it basically will negate everything that you've done so that's why you've got to it's got to be locked down now so you, everyone gets vaccinated before the strain comes in that's just, right <laughs> anyway potter can you give suzanne or anybody else if you all are not in our um discord if white tiger or mama um m, &M mama is in here uh you can give uh our email as well as y'all's email we do um, recipes, pictures of your craft, pictures of your pets, pictures of your grandkids. I just love it. And um, and it's all feel good. There's no yuckiness. Yeah, no. we are yeah. positive vibes and DIY. I miss Sam. She always puts our positive vibes and DIY message. I know. And, and look how boring our yeah. chat looks. While Sam's away, because <laughs> she makes everything bright and colourful. Yes, she does. You see that, Suzanne? Craft, C R A dot T dot P three at gmail dot com, and I believe um, you have to show a screenshot of another social media. Um, I don't think with you, uh, with anybody in here. Uh, that we would need to do that, but with other people, we need to make sure they're not bots. Uh, and that's hilarious because that's my last, uh, that's my maiden name. <laughs> but with two T's, right? <laughs> yeah, with two T's. <laughs> Give me pot, sat on the pot, smoking pot, began to rock. <laughs> <Just a lot. laughs> I'm trying to remember, dummy, where's that, soul sister? Our county is bad right now, October. Yeah, well, I know Snow Line, you guys have it. You guys aren't, don't even have the vaccination yet, right? Even 10% of the population. Yeah. We've got very few, too. Very few people vaccinated. Dang. But we're just about to open our international flying bubble with New Zealand. Finally. Good, good, good. I okay. forgot I got these towers. These are 70, yeah, 72, but they are very hard to find at your um, Dollar Tree. So if you find the 72 for a dollar, grab them, grab them. They're the what uh, you put on anything to um, stand it off of your wood to, to, um, to make it look better. I was going to do that on that, but I don't, I want, I'm going to find because I had that on the peep. But I thought, oh, I don't want that to be um, put away in my Easter stuff for a whole year. So you have I'll to find, find something else to put it on. I will. And then we'll do uh, this too for the spring. All right, guys. Thank you, uh, Potter Lynn. Oh, thank you. Everybody just loves your accent. I'm and, sorry, uh, but I am a bit bland over the last couple of days and just, yeah. No. Um, wait, I just saw. Thank you, then, at a sweetheart, as always. Aw, thank you, Gigi. Oh, Michigan. I hadn't heard that, that Michigan is bad. Yeah, which is why Karen Lynn has to stay home because she's. Oh, she is in Michigan. Michigan. Yes. Yes, Karen Lynn, don't go, don't go out to Marshalls. Uh, <laughs> Maybe your daughter will go out to Marshall's uh, for you. No, because her daughter's got COVID. <gasps> That's right. Dang it. 
Yes. Dang so it. I don't want her to have any contact yeah. with her daughter. Was, they were bad sales and they are, they're gone anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And so. <laughs> All okay. right. I love my peep posse. I love my peeps. And we will see you tomorrow. Three with T. Bye, we guys. We love you, T. Bye. Oh, I love you right back. Bye, guys.